championship fight here tonight. 35-year-old Marillo Bustamante against the 31-year-old Olympic silver medalist Matt DeLaw Lindland. A belt is on the line. For the official introductions for this, our featured matchup, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this UFC championship bout is sectioned by the Louisiana State Boxing Commission with Mr. Buddy Empanado Jr. and Mr. Alvin Topham, commissioners in charge. Our judges at Octagon side are Mr. Jeff Mullins, Mr. Nelson Hamilton, and Mr. Marcos Rosales. This event is sponsored by the Gordon Biersch Brewing Company. Beer, like it ought to be. And now, it's time to rock the octagon. This fight is five rounds for the UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, the challenger, standing to my left. He is a wrestling expert and a USA silver medalist in the 2000 Olympics. He holds a record in mixed martial arts of 7-0-0. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Eagle Creek, Oregon, please welcome Matt the Law <laughs> And now, introducing the fighter standing to my right. He is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu expert with a mixed martial arts record of 10, 1, and 1. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. He is the UFC middleweight champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Murilo Bustamante. And when the action begins, our referee in charge is Big John McCarthy. Will the third time be a charm, or will Bustamante prove once again that he is a champion? Great championship of the world. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's get it on. Here Come we on. go. Scheduled for five five-minute rounds. The clinch is what Lindland likes the most. Clinch and then hit with the knees, the arms, and everything. Or will he look to go to his basis of wrestling? There's that clinch, though. Anytime he can close the quarters and Frank use the fence. Definitely. It's another uh, facet of the game that he's using to help him out. His opponent can't back his hips out, which I also help you with the takedown. For tonight's fight, fans at home watching at UFC.TV. Will our judges be forced to render a decision? Or will one of these men score a submission or a knockout? Referee stoppage. And the obvious favorite uh, as far as the clinch game is going to go is going to be Matt Lennon. Does he want to take Murillo to the ground? That's where it's not safe for him to go. He's controlling the body, controlling Bustamante on the fence. And a couple of short shots there. Now uh, Murillo switches. <laughs> Definitely, though, if Lindland gets his takedown, he's going to want it to be pushed. Oh, good takedown by Bustamante. This might be a problem. Fighting off his back is not going to. We're going to see what uh, Matt Lindland has to offer. I'm amazed once again. Bustamante wrestling the wrestler. He yep. boxed the boxers. I am impressed. Impressive individual. Now, when he talked about 100% Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, one theory, one question is this 94? One man said, Is that like bringing a knife to a gunfight? Well, you know what? He's got a whole arsenal of weapons. Does Merlo Bustamante. And one thing we also uh, mentioned today as we talked amongst each other is, is when he puts himself in dangerous positions, you can't do that against a guy 
like Morello. He will capitalize on the arm ball. Definitely that being the case, Bustamante, if he gets it halfway, he will sink it in. That is his profession. That is what he's good at. That's what he was raised as, a submission artist. Great jiu-jitsu guy. If he gets halfway there, it's going to be a problem for Matt Lennon. morello has got to work his left leg past the legs of Lindland. Lindland just holding on, probably hoping that this fight gets stood up once again, where he can work his clinch. I see Bustamante going straight to a mount from this position. If he gets it, that will definitely be interesting to see what Lindland has to offer while uh, being dominated for a chance. We for know he is extremely well versed in submissions too, Jeff, I apologize. Marilla Bustamante, seven times Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. National champion. Oh, look out, Armbar coming out. Does he Tim, have it? It's straight. Does he have it? It's straight. It, oh. There it is. It's over. No, wait, wait, wait. No, wait, wait. no, no, no. you're fine. It's no, it's you're fine. You're fine. Hold on. Hold on. It's time. It's your corner. Come on to your corner. To the corner. Bustamante thought Lindley had tapped. Oh. McCarthy says you're fine. That was hand, also close. Hand is going to the thing. I apologize. Hand is going to the thing. Put your hand Put your mouth in the back. That may have cost Marilla this fight. Can't. Your I, don't, I am not sure what happened. On him, all right? Your hand was going to turn to tap. I'm letting the fight go. I'm letting the fight go. All right, John explained it. He said your hand was going to tap. Let's go. We're going to start. I'm letting it go. He's going to let him go. Here we go. Well, oh. well no off. reason Come to believe on. that Bustamante can't put him back in that position. You see the disappointment on the face of Marilla Bustamante. That would have been a quick armbar finish by submission. Mentally, I'm sorry, Mike, that plays a bad, bad mental game against Bustamante. He thought he won. He's already done fighting, and now he has to go back in and fight again in, in his mind. I am thoroughly confused. I have no idea this is what happened. His arm was fully extended. From our vantage point, we couldn't see if there was a tap happening or, uh, or what happened. Now, Lindman shook his head. I wasn't tapping, I wasn't tapping. Of course, what do you expect his reaction to be? But right now, the action continues, and that's what Marilla Bustamante has to understand. This fight is continuing. He's got to work through that momentary disappointment and try to get himself back into an advantage position. Right elbow, right elbow. This might not sound the greatest, but I got to tell you from a jiu-jitsu man's point of view, if I straighten your arm once and you dispute the tap the second time, you're not going to have time to tap. I'll make sure that there is no doubt that your arm was taken. Don't give up the move until the referee tells you to give up that move. You go, you go. Marilla's really being a good guy. You can't really fault him for the fact that he's not out there to maul somebody. But then again, you expect everybody to go ahead and be honorable in the same system. I understand exactly what you're saying. Boys Grayson talked about the same thing. And we take the Legends of the Octagon show with Boys. I got you. Tap. You don't tap, you're going to be in trouble. That's right. So let's see if he can get back to that position, though, because right now, here's the clinch and a throw attempt unsuccessful, but Lin Lin trying to do his work now. Pusher Murillo in against the fence. This is where Murillo came off and got the takedown on Lin Lin before. Not much time left. And quite in a very controversial first round. Indeed. Gives him a tap of Plasso, and McCarthy will talk to him for a second. He's obviously still a bit shaken up by the hat. And all his corner men and his supporters here are just talking about what we talked about, Jeff. Now you've got to understand that decision is in the past. Move on and fight on. You still have an opportunity to win this fight. Yeah. Okay. Get over your mindset. You Don't stay in that mindset that, oh, man, I just won this fight, but something happened. You got to get over it and move on. Look at this. Lenlin, using his wrestling, hops over into a bad position, leg over, arm extended. Man, it's hard to tell. It, yeah. It I don't looked, think he did tap. Now watch the slow-mo, or was he reaching for his hand position? And then there's a controversy of how many taps count as a tap. Mm, not sure, not sure. Looked as though he uh, definitely had it in his mind he was thinking about it. But he the only reason why it. he got out of that arm bar was because of John right. McCarthy interfering. No, that's correct. Regardless whether he tapped or not, if McCarthy hadn't interfered, the arm would have been broken. All right, online scoring round one. A slight advantage given to Marulo Bustamante. 
Our fans around the world, thanks for participating, UFC.TV. Stay with us as Lindland tries to work the clinch. Oh, and he goes, another takedown, wrestling the wrestler again. What is this guy? Boxer, jiu-jitsu, and taking down a takedown master like Matt Lindland. I, I don't know what's going on here. Well, his uh, bio needs to be updated because he is more than Brazilian jiu-jitsu. I really feel that Bustamante is going to go back for the mount in this position. Oh, the reversal. He's going to push him into his guard. Definitely. He's going to either go for the back or come up for a sweep at this point. Second round, five are scheduled. Five minutes in duration. Keep in mind that the hardest job in this business is being a referee. He has the well-beings of those fighters put into his hands. If he sees one is in danger, he's going to react. Here's Lindland in the top position, but in the guard. Much more comfortable there than he is on his back. And now Lindland, happy to bring it back to the feet. Not so much to strike, but to work his Greco skills. Bustamante doesn't mind throwing punches. He doesn't mind this position either. Using the hooks with his feet, opening up a guard, looking for sweeps. Oh, well, some people criticize a, a jiu-jitsu guy for going to his back, but hey, right, you know, go where you're comfortable. If you want to take me down, come and do it. But if Marilla wants to be on his back, lindland has got to avoid being put there. Hey, criticizing a jiu-jitsu guy for going to his back is like criticizing the Chicago Bears for giving the football to Walter Payton in the backfield. You go with your strengths. And here's the clinch. And Bustamante didn't stay in it long. Really lift him and try to deliver some punishment here, Frank. No, before that, uh, Bustamante made a correct decision to go ahead and jump guard. Yep. Lindland, uh, Lindland had uh, double underhooks and could have gone for a little bit of elevation on that throw. Only disadvantage of that was the cage is right behind him. Uh, definitely right now, even though he's in the jiu-jitsu man's guard, that cage is going to play in the favor of Matt Lindland. And we spoke of Lindland putting himself in dangerous positions. He was extending his arms moments ago with Murillo. You'll see good hit, wrestler's hip movement and jiu-jitsu hip movement are not the same thing, but uh, these two guys are definite masters of getting out of dangerous positions. Now Lindland, uh, so decorated a wrestler for so many years, training exclusively in mixed martial arts only since last December. And Murillo, one of the nice succession, succession of uh, two right hands. Looks like it ticked Lindland off a little. Now, there's uh, there's definitely been some looks here in this round of disgust towards each other. Competitiveness indeed. But the looks have changed in the eyes of these two. The left almost connected there. Lindland loves to use the knees, though, in the clinch. But as you can see, Bustamont's looking for that knee. If Lindland goes for the knee to the face with his left leg, Bustamont's going to underhook it and elevate him again for another slam. He's taken him down twice already. Marilla Bustamante, our champion. 115 remains in round number two. Question is, can these guys go five rounds? I think yes. Could be in for a long night for both. Oh, oh. Big right there by Marilla Bustamante. Lindland's okay, though. Bustamante, a pro-level boxer in Brazil as a youth. And again, he looks for the right. And can't walk in with his hands down like that. He kind of ducks under, doesn't he, Jeff? And he came back and threw two of his own. There's the underhooks, but he couldn't latch it on. Under 30 seconds remains in our second round. Another right glances the chin of oh. Matt Lindland. Shaking that one off. Bustamante. Impressive striking skills being displayed in the latter part of this round. Does he have a more diversified game, Marillo Bustamante, than the challenger Matt Lindland? It would appear through 10 minutes, Jeff. Yeah, it's like they said, uh, Tito wouldn't be tested until he takes on a, a, another wrestler. And I mean, he dominated Vladimir Matyashenko. And uh, Marillo, 
Man, two big takedowns. Yeah. Right. Rushing up to the back. Right. But Lindland again okay. recovers and regains hey, control. You need to do a little more punching on your way out. An all interested right? spectator yeah, here tonight, Carlos Newton. Who will try to win back that welterweight belt against Matt Hughes in our brawl at the Hall in London, England, Saturday, July 13th. Couple. Hughes is also here in attendance tonight. A couple of months away, and from what I hear, tickets are selling uh, pretty quickly in the UK. Our friends at Sky TV showing a weekly series of UFC fights. We're excited to head to the UK, excited to be on live tonight in Japan, and excited about this matchup. Matt Lindland, Marilla Bustamante. No! And this is where the game gets interesting halfway through. Here we go. Let's get on, come on. Bustamante seemed to be very comfortable in his striking at the end of that second round. Matt Lindland seems to be bleeding a little bit from his nose. Could be a testament to that. Bustamante, he's gonna take the center of the ring there. Frank can really try to force the action, it seems. That, and also because if a takedown does happen as the jiu-jitsu guy in the middle of the ring, you don't have really the cage to attest for. You can go ahead and work more a little bit freely. And that was a heated exchange there. Both popping back and forth, throwing heavy leather. Bustamante needs to go for a guard pass at this point. His opponent's dazed. Lindland is hurt. Continuing to try to force the stoppage. Lindland. Bustamante still taking the action to Matt Lindland. Marilla Bustamante, a chance to finish it here. There we go, guard pass. Oh, punish him. Very, very nice at his. His arm is trapped momentarily, but look. Lindland with the takedown. He is in the guillotine, though. Yep. Boussmont has the guillotine. Arm looks like it's trapped. Still working the guillotine. There's the tap. It's all over. Whoa. The guillotine was sunk. The submission official this time. And Marillo Bustamante retains his UFC middleweight belt. He can pack the belt up and take it right back home. <laughs> what a champion. I'm sitting here smiling on my face because I can't believe what I've seen. Lennon has shown, I mean, unbelievable improvement over the last several fights he's had. And Busamante, man, I am greatly, greatly impressed with his skills all the way around. Bustamante did everything we said he was going to do tonight and more. You've seen jujitsu. Had an arm straight, went through sweeps, jumped guard, ended up uh, winning the fight on a submission using the guillotine. The hands that we spoke about were what set it up, dropping Matt Lindland with a powerful right hand. And even out wrestled the wrestler, in my opinion. I guess tonight he could be called the criminal because he broke the law. I hate to use a cliche <laughs> like that, but. Although it was a good one. Yeah. And disappointment once again for Matt Lindley in his attempt to be a world champion. Let's take a look at what transpired. Oh, a short, short, powerful right sends him to the ground. He is dazed. And Marillo tries to capitalize. A couple of forearms. And here is that guillotine you spoke of, Frank. Again, Cinches it in. It is tight. He has the arm, but he still positioned the left arm around the throat. Good, sharp technique. Jumping guard to secure his opponent, create the base. The right arm is trapped, can't defend. All it's left to do is uh, to tap, as we see there. And that was a definitive tap and a definitive ending to tonight's championship fight.
Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner at one minute, 33 seconds of the third round due to a tap out from a guillotine choke for the winner and still a UFC middleweight champion of the world, Murillo Busta. Let's have a big hand for Matt Lindland. He overcame the disappointment of the controversy in round one, and he won by submission in round three. Marillo Bustamante retains the middleweight belt. Ryan Bennett. All right, guys, we are with Matt Lindland. Matt, tough fight for you in that first round. I tell you what, it, it seemed like you were... Uh, trying to control him. Everybody wants to know, did you tap in that first round? No, I was started to roll, and I went like this to roll, and I mean, my hand moved one time. And uh, I think he stopped, and then John stopped it, but it wasn't, uh, maybe it would have been, but it wasn't at that time. Matt, were you surprised how strong Marilla was? Because, I mean, you're a guy that's really went through everybody, but it seemed like you just had a tough time controlling him. He's got good position, and, uh, He's, he's definitely uh, strong. He's a big guy at that weight class. Matt, what's up for you? I know it's, it's, it's tough to swallow a loss. This is your first loss in the octagon. Is it one of those things you just got to go back to the drawing board and, and start all over again? Start all over, I don't think, but keep, keep improving. Uh, close, but, uh, you know, it just it happened today for, for him, and hopefully next time I can do it. Matt Lillian, very classy and defeat. Let's bring in the champion. He is still the champion, folks. Marilla Bustamante joins us right now. Now, Marilla, you're a striker all of a sudden. <laughs> I tell you what, man, you're supposed to be the submission guy. I keep seeing these outstanding strikes to finish fights. Uh, I'd like a special thanks for my boxer coach, Claudio Coelho, because he's training me in Brazil very hard. But I like to, to fight on the feet and like Thanks for my team, Brazilian top team, for supporting me. My manager, my partners, Bebel, Andy Borio. And for me, it's a dream back here. And I won the great fighter like uh, Matt Linda. He's a warrior. For me, it's a dream. Thank you a lot. Merle, let's show the first round to you. Everybody thought, a lot of people in the building thought that you made him tap. Let's show you it. Take me through it right here on the uh, jumbo drum. Uh, I thought the fight is over there, but it's okay. No worries again. I'm very happy again, and I'll be back. You will be back, no doubt about it. I hope so. I'm going to die here. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, you made no doubt about it in this later round. Like I said, your striking has been so incredible. You're known as a submission guy, but you're so well-rounded. Just take me through that. What did you see that you could, knew you could land that strong right hand? Uh, I trained in boxes since I was a kid, and now I can, I, I could, I, I train more box in Brazil. But I, I ever, I ever like to, to fight on the feet. That's okay. it. Thank you a lot. He's got the bell, folks. No doubt about it. Marilla Bustamante is the best in the world at 185, back to you guys. Well, Ryan, thank you very much, and our congratulations goes to Marilla Bustamante. Matt Lindland, truly an honest guy, a, a credible and respectable competitor. And if he says he didn't tap, I think most of us should believe that. I think all of us should believe that. And Bustamante said no problems. He got what he wanted, and that was the submission. For all the reactions from tonight's matchups and all the forecasts and previews of those